the sports on your phone. That's going back to the channel. It's been a minute, y'all. It's been a minute. I've been sick. I've been a little under the weather. But hey, we gotta push through now. If you move to the channel, we'll have a subject. That's a button we on the road to 950 subs. With that being said, let's get into it, man. The Phoenix Suns and the Milwaukee Bucks in the NBA Finals. Who would have thought? Chest. I mean, the Bucks, as odd as it feels that they. And you see my new little, you know what I do? My new little hairstyle, you know what I'm saying? Put in the comment section down below if it's. If it's fire or not, let me know. Actually made it. Know. I think it was almost a matter of time considering their rise over the last few seasons. But the Suns? The Phoenix Suns? You can't help but to feel happy for them. Because they weren't supposed to be here. At the moment, the Suns are favored to win the finals at minus 190 odds. But this wasn't always the case. At the beginning of the season, the Suns were not favored to win the title. They also didn't have the second best odds. Or the third. Or fourth or fifth or sixth or seventh or anything close 15th at the beginning of the season the suns had the 15th, 15th best I mean, odds of winning the NBA it was championship. like basically last place plus it was basically last place last season so you can't even like you know what I'm saying and then all they did was add Chris Paul Chris Paul at, at least would have brought them to the playoffs the finals no 6,000 right. and this got me thinking I didn't know the suns win the title this season are they the least likely NBA champions ever? I mean, they've got to be close, right? Well, here are the preseason championship odds of every single NBA championship team dating back to 1985. The 2018 Warriors having the best preseason odds of any team being the heavy, heavy favorite going into the season, followed by the 2017 Warriors and the 1997 Bulls. On the other end of the spectrum, yeah, the champions who had the worst odds of winning it all going into the season. The 2004 Pistons, the 2011 Mavericks, and the 2015 Warriors. And then, there's this year's Suns. With, by far, the worst preseason odds of any team in modern basketball. That is crazy. That is really crazy. Well, history. Look at this. It's not even close. In fact, according to preseason odds, the Suns are more than two times less likely to win a championship this season than the next least likely champion in nearly four decades. Now, sure, they haven't won the title yet, but if they do, this will be a historic victory. Realistically, who other than the residents of Phoenix, Arizona, thought the Suns would even be in the NBA Finals this season? They See, like, the playoffs is mad weird. Like, they don't even have the shirts. Like, they don't got, like, the playoff shirts. You know what I'm talking about? The playoff shirts, like, like when you go into the playoffs, they give everybody, like, a shirt so everybody looks the same type shit. They don't even give them that. They don't even give them that. Why they that? And they've stepped up and knocked down every opponent put in front of them. And yeah. They took advantage of a weird playoff year with an absurd amount of injuries and teams not playing at full capacity. But let's not forget, the Suns also lost Chris Paul for two games in the second round due to COVID protocol. They were also victims of odd and unforeseen circumstances. And yet here they are, in the finals despite the odds being heavily against them. I wouldn't even blame injuries and stuff like that, for real. Because injuries happen, you know, everybody, every team got injured, but it was luckily the only team that really didn't get one of these stars injured. Like, I know somebody on the team got the ACL torn, and that's really it. Like, on a side but he's a bench player. Of all these champions, here are the teams who were favored to win the title going into the season, which means odd makers pick the correct team less than half the time. But I want to take a deeper look into this, because if we are just going by odds, the Suns are easily the least favored team to even make it to the finals let alone win the whole thing. So let's take a different approach at this. Now, see these numbers? Well, I mean, of course you do, you're watching the video. Yes, yeah, Take a close look at them, because these are statistically the most likely NBA champions of the last 38 NBA seasons. A collection of some of the best teams ever assembled, topped off with the 2017 Warriors. And you're probably thinking, how in the world did I come up with this list? And what do all these numbers mean? Well, by using the SRS stat, which is a statistic that uses a few variables to determine how good or bad a team is relative to the rest of the league, I covered this stat last Six. season in this video, we can find out how difficult or easy a championship run was. But we can also find out how much better a team was relative to their competition in any given postseason. 
For example, in the 2017 playoffs, the Warriors faced an opponent with an average SRS score of 3.44. Meanwhile, the Warriors had the fourth best SRS score in the history of the league with 11.35. So which means they were expected to win. 9 1 SRS better than their average opponent in that playoff run. So which is win. statistically the largest gap of any team in relation to their opponents since 1984. Simply put, this relative SRS score shows us how much better each championship team was relative to the opponents they faced to get the championship well by using this same method hopefully oh, yeah, i'm taking these these pills man oh these shits hurt this shit's just mad big like look these shits is huge it because i got mad mucus in my chest bro this shit hurt bro like a lot I found that these teams are the that. 10 least likely champions of the last 38 seasons, with the 1995 Ooh. Houston Rockets topping the list with an SRS 3.67 less than their average playoff opponent, which is absurd. This means that when the Rockets won the title in 1995, every single team the Rockets faced that postseason was, was not only better than the Rockets, they were statistically considerably better than the Rockets. And this would make sense because in last year's video, we determined that the this. championship run that season was the most difficult in modern NBA history. But this list isn't just about difficulty. It's about difficulty relative to each team. For example, the 2001 Lakers are arguably the greatest team of all time, and yet their championship run is the second hardest on this list. And that's because in order to get it, they had to go through a 50-win Blazers team, a 55-win Kings squad, the Spurs who had the best record in the NBA that season with 58 wins, and a 56-win 76ers team in the finals. That's crazy. Are you kidding me? Do y'all realize how insane this is? That shit is crazy, and he swept every single person except the except the 76ers, bro. That's that's why I really, really Allen Iverson, they respect that. We respect him because shit like this, like he could have like. And when you consider that the Lakers only had an SRS of 3.74 that season, this means that nearly every team they beat was statistically still better than they were. Now, if the Bucks win the title this season, this would give them a relative SRS score of 2.57 which is a pretty average title run, just slightly unlikely. But if the Suns win the championship, they would have a relative SRS score of 0 0.88, which would lead them with the eighth least likely title of the last 38 seasons. Right? Yeah, right, be right below LeBron's 3-1 win. Between the Cavaliers in 2016 yeah, and the Raptors crazy. in 2019. The Suns have beat the returning champs in the Lakers, they've defeated the league MVP in the Nuggets, and they beat the heavily favored Clippers. And it would only be fitting that Chris Paul wins a championship in this fashion. Possibly the most unlucky player of our generation. Because if you look at a timeline of CP3's career and what has unfolded for him, it's honestly shocking that he hasn't won a ring yet. We can all recall the NBA's decision to veto Paul's trade to the Lakers in 2011, a decision that altered the NBA for years. Yeah. We are all witnessing what Chris Paul can do with Devin Booker and a scrappy young Suns team. Just imagine what he would have done with Kobe Bryant like an experienced bro. Lakers organization just one season removed from back-to-back -back championships. It is no stretch to say that this potential Lakers team would have been one of the favorites to win the title for multiple years. But of course, this never happened. Then there's the monumental collapse the Clippers had in the 2015 playoffs. Yeah, I see After that. Being up 3 1. That uh, being up 3 1, Chris Paul ankle went bad. Like. In the second round against the Rockets, fate would have it that Paul would not see the conference finals, since the Rockets went on to win the next three games, completing oh, a dreadful right. 3 1 comeback. Fast forward to the next season in the 2016 playoffs, and after going up 2-0 to the Blazers in the first round, both Paul and Blake Griffin go down with injuries, allowing the Blazers to win four straight games. And then, of course, one of the most overlooked what-ifs in recent NBA history, Chris Paul's hamstring injury in the 2018 Western Conference Finals. The Rockets were up 3-2. They had all the momentum. This was their series to lose. So... 
That's exactly what happened. Yeah. After going down with an injury with just 50 seconds left in the fourth quarter of game five, Chris Paul would never return to the series and the Rockets would go on to lose the next two games, sealing their fates as just another third round exit. Okay. Chris Paul has been the victim of two of the biggest what ifs of our entire generation. So although I'm not a Suns fan, and I'm actually very neutral in this whole thing, I recognize the magnitude of what Chris Paul and the Suns have accomplished. The okay, Pat God and his disciples, two wins away from beating the Bucks and beating all the odds. Oh my God. Hope you all enjoyed. I did As enjoy. Always, until next time. Yeah. Yeah, but it's been easy though. <clears throat> yeah, first of all, finally about to get a ring. No cap. I didn't expect him to win, I ain't gonna lie. I didn't expect him to win. Didn't expect him to win, but if you're into the channel, I'm just up to hit that sub button on the road. It's 950 subs.